What is up everybody and welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we're looking at how to find the area of a triangle. Let's go. What are we going to remember today? Well, we're going to try and remember that a triangle is half of a parallelogram. What does that mean and why is it useful? Well, we should know that a parallelogram is a four-sided shape, two sets of parallel lines. So we could have a square, now ignore my drawings, with this parallel and this parallel to each other. We could have a rectangle with this parallel and then these parallel to each other. And I can have a rhombus, which is like a square that's been pushed over in the wind. But again, that's parallel and this is parallel. And what we should know is that to find the area of any parallelogram, all we have to do is base times height. That means the measurement of the base and the measurement of the height will give us some form of measurement squared, because what we would have been doing is cutting this shape into squares and then counting how many there are. If you're not that familiar with that, go back and watch the video on area of parallelograms. That's going to be very important for this video. But again, how is that helpful for us working out a triangle? Well, if we know that a triangle is half of a parallelogram, then theoretically we should know that the area is going to be base times height, but halved, or in other words, over 2, because it's half of the area of the parallelogram. Let's just see that in action. If we take this first example here, if I mirror it on the other side, we can see I now have a perfect square, or in other words, I have a parallelogram. Or in this case over here, if I try and mirror it, we can see we have a rhombus and the triangle takes up exactly half of that space. So using what we now know, that the area will be base times height divided by 2, let's try and work out the areas of this triangle. So in this case, the base is 9 and the height is 5. So I would have 9 times 5 over 2 equals my area. Now let's do 9 times 5 first. 9 times 5 is 45, so we'd have 45 over 2 equals area, or 45 divided by 2 is 22.5. So my area equals 22.5 centimeters squared. Now if you're not too familiar with why we make squares, I would go back and watch the area of parallelogram video because I go into that in much better detail, but essentially what we've been doing is cutting this triangle into small squares and counting out how many there are to work out its area. Now let's look at this second example. This one's a little bit more confusing. So again, let's start with our formula of base times height over 2 equals area. Now, I can see the base quite clearly is 3, but I don't want to get too confused and look at the height of being this measurement just here, because this is actually measuring one of the lengths of my sides, and that is not my height. The height of my triangle starts just here and ends just here. And the only arrow that's measuring that is this 10 centimeters over here. So be very careful that we don't use the lengths of sides to work out the height. The height is simply from top to bottom, the shortest distance. So let's plug in some of these numbers. Base is 3 times the height of 10 over 2 equals my area. 3 times 10 is 30 over 2 equals area. And 30 divided by 2 is 15 equals area. So the answer is 15 centimeters squared. Simple. Now it's your turn. Have a go at working out the areas of these two triangles. Put your answers in the comments section. I'm going to try and mark every single one. Good luck. And there you have it, guys. That is how to work out the area of a triangle when you know the base and the height. Hopefully this video has been helpful. If it was, head on over to themathshelter.com where you're going to find everything you need to know about your age group maths. But for now, guys, I'm going to see you in another video. Peace out.